So if you're already familiar with the process of saving videos, movies, TV shows, episodes from TV shows to your phone, and you want to use this method to play it on Android Auto, this video is for you. But if you want YouTube, I'll have that video in the description box below. And as well, if you want to know how to save videos, movies, TV shows, episodes from TV shows to your phone, send me a message to Facebook under Downloading Pirate and I'll walk you through the best method for you. I may do a video exclusively on Facebook and if I do, I'll have that link down there below. I just wanted to clear that up before we get started. So step number one, we're going to open up a web browser on your phone. So I'm using Google Chrome the Google Chrome web browser for this example. And you can either go to the video description and click that link I have for you down below or just do a Google search for AAAD download. So if you follow the link, wait just a second. If you did the Google search, select the option that you see right here, nothing else. All right, so from this page, we all should be on the same page now. From this page, go down until you see the option that says go to downloads. I'll go ahead and select that. And from the next page, we're gonna scroll down until you see the first option, that first APK option. So the version and the date that you see here may be different at the time you do these steps, but make sure you select the option that says APK at the top. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and select it on my side. You can go ahead and download it. It's just showing you this warning because it's not in the Google Play Store. Like you see, they say might, not that it is harmful, might. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and select download anyway. And it's gonna download the file that we need to install the app. So you see at the top here, I have a pop-up to select, but say for any reason, if that goes away, you can go to the settings in your browser and go to downloads and select it here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and select it. If this is your first time downloading an app from a web browser, you do have to give the web browser app, in my case, Google Chrome, permission to install the app. So go to the settings when it prompts you to. If it does, select allow, go back, and then you'll be able to install the app. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and install it on my side. Shouldn't take long, it's a simple app. But when we do first open up the app, two things we have to keep in mind that's very important. Well, I made that three things that's very important. So the first thing, just like how we had to give our web browser permission to install an app on our phone, we have to do the same thing with AAAD. So we, when you get this prompt here, go ahead and select okay. It'll take you to the settings. So from here, we have to select AAAD, allow, check allow, go back, and then go back again till we get back to the app. So that's the first important thing. Two more things, y'all. Please keep this in mind. One, you see it has an option that says you have one download remaining. This is a free to use service, and it does only allow you to do this once. The app that we have to download is the Firmata Auto. So you can't download anything else. Say if you wanted to try another app, <laughs> this isn't the time to try it. We just have to get this Firmata Auto out. Thing number three, that's the most important. And I've noticed a lot of people have issues with this. Sometimes it takes pressing the option twice. So you can press it one time, it may not respond. So press it a second time and it usually responds the second time. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the Fermata Auto app that we need. So we're gonna select the allow because it does need permission to install the app on our phone. So select the allow. If you select deny, it won't do it. All right, so perfect example. I pressed it, nothing happened. I went through extra steps, nothing happened. So I'm gonna do it a second time. Remember y'all, it may take doing this twice. From here, we can go ahead and select OK. It's gonna install the app, and after we get from the Auto, we're free to uninstall the AAAD app. All right, go ahead and select Install. And this will be the final step. We're just gonna make sure that we have it on the phone. 
before we go back to the car for the rest of the steps. So I can go ahead and uninstall the AAAD app. We don't need it anymore. So let's go to the car. Before you connect to the car, make sure you open up the Fermato Auto app on your phone, select allow, and then you'll see a blank screen. This is normal, we have to fill this space. We do this by selecting the folder icon on the bottom right hand corner, then select content, and then it's gonna ask you for permission to access your download. So go ahead and make sure you approve that, select allow, and then from here, we should be good to go in our car. But keep in mind, I had an issue myself personally, when I first tried this and, and I tried to connect to the car, everything didn't load right away. So I gave up, I went back in, in my house and then I came back for a drive and when I connected my phone the second time, it worked. So keep that in mind. If it doesn't work the first time, don't give up, just try it again later. The way you see these from Auto Auto Alps, and I'm gonna explain why you see two in a second, but the way you see these, it won't be here at first. You have to actually open it and use it for it to be here. So you have to go to your app session and from your app session, find the Fermata Auto app. It may not be at the top, it may be at the bottom, and then select it. So say everything works fine, what we'll do is we'll select the Fermata Auto app. Normally, it'll be a full stream, like this right here. So this is your, your starting point once you first open up the app, if everything is working good. So at the bottom, we got our option to the folder that we gave access to on our phone. You have a heart here for favorites and some other options that we really won't really use. There's a YouTube option here. I don't recommend using that. Again, I have a separate video on how to watch YouTube that works better than this. Then it's an internet option. And I know you guys are probably thinking I can watch Netflix and stuff like that, right? Let's try it out. Boom, I don't know. It, it caused too many issues, so I didn't even wanna include Netflix and stuff like that because it caused too many issues. I want you guys to have something that actually works and, and what I'm showing you now actually works. So normally we'll just be using this folder option. So you go to your downloads and just pick and play whatever you wanna watch. But say if you play a video or a movie or a TV show and you back out and it's playing the audio, what'll happen is it'll play the audio through this app here, which is called Fermetto Control. Now, at first it may be confusing because you got two Fermetto Auto apps or oh, it appears to be two Fermetto Auto Outs, but one, the green one here, is Fermetto Control, and the purple one is the Fermetto Auto Out. I'm trying to see if I can get the audio here. So, it comes in handy because you can toggle through Alps and still listen to the audio through Fermetto Control, but say if you wanna just jump back to the video and audio, all you have to do is just open up the Fermetto Auto Out, the real Fermetto Auto Out. I know some of you guys may be thinking, well, can't we just remove the Fermetto Control app so we don't get it confused? You can go to your customized option here and open up your phone and remove it from the launcher. But when I did that, when I tried it myself and created some issues, I personally like having it so I can have an option to go back and forth. All right, so it does feel kind of bootleg at times, but it does work. So I hope you guys find this useful. Hope you have some good road trips with it. That's all I got for you. Much love to each and every one of you. I'm your downloading pirate, and I'm out. I'm out.